Have fun. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Natox, and this is Football Fan Stripe. So, uh, the much highly anticipated video for our predictions of the season. Of course, we did normally do this one after the transfer window don't close, so that we we'll know who they and uh, who know they. More no go give prediction we person no day. So, um, we will go through the predictions one after the other. I will give my pick, and then everybody else will follow. Give my pick, everybody else will follow, and so on and so forth. So, uh, we'll start with top scorer. So, my pick. For top scorer, uh, Hyun Min Son. <laughs> I will take I will take Nunes normally, you know, but you know where they start. So we'll just go with Alan. Ellen brought Alan. Alan. No hurricane. Premier League is left with Ellen Alan. Ellen Alan now. Manste has the choked up midfield, so obviously Alan will take that glory this year again. First manager to be sacked, Sean Dyche, Everton. No doubt, Sean Dyke. Newcastle manager, Eddie Hav. Everton can't afford to try this for the third time, so Sean Dyke. Ah, he did smell already. Sean Dyke. Flop of the year, Kai Havertz, Arsenal. Messi Mount, the boy, the boy will never sleep high in one dream. So I don't think Messi Mount and his injury, his in, in the use injury, has too many excuses for not performing. <laughs> He just got to be one Chelsea player. Anyhow, not how he won. Um, I for sick, I said, but he go play more matches and um, go and prove himself. So, I'll go for Romeo Lavia. Kaava, that's now. Kaisedu. Messi Mount. Breakthrough season. That means the player or a player above 21 years will go really hit new levels this season. Then enter main main. Um, Mati Cash of uh, Aston Villa. Disassi. Breakthrough season, I'll give it to John Darwin Nunes. Outstanding performance and always comes on. I think he's almost mastering the Premier League tactics and experience is kicking in too. Breakthrough. Zobo baby. Zobo Sly. Breakthrough season. Fabio Vieira. The Liverpool midfielder. Zobo Sly. I think Zobo Sly. Worst transfer. 150 million pounds. I know like I'm from the beginning. The whole money they pay. Moises Caicedo to Chelsea. Kai Havertz, Arsenal. Kai Havertz. What transfer should be? I think Messi Mount should be the worst transfer. Messi Mount. I'll give it to Messi Mount. That transfer was never supposed to happen. I don't hate him and um, it's not like maybe I have a personal vendetta against him. I'll give it to, the, to Kai Havertz. Or something, but I think Messi Mount, the excuses are too much. And young player of the year, you know, already start this season very, very well. Destiny, Ienoma, Udodje of Tottenham, the left back. He never the score yet, but trust me, when he begins score, when I go yard. Ferguson. Ferguson. Brighton Evan Ferguson. 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 That guy is outstanding. He's under a very good coach, and Zehebri will do wonders with him. Golden Glove. Still a Tottenham player, Vicario, the goalkeeper. Golden Glove, the Ederson, he has good defenders. I don't think, I think Man is focused on defending more on attack, more uh, less attack because they are sure of the attack, so they work on the defense. Alice in this time, man. Alice in, Alice in, Alice in this time. Ramsdale. Ederson of Manchester should get this Golden Glove. Alice in. Relegation, I choose Luton Town, Burnley. And everything no go escape and this time. It will be very really tidy at Juju for waste don't go. So I'm sorry. Uh, we'll go see on for front. Everton, definitely. Looting town. For Dick Bonley, they've not been really doing anything. Um yeah. Bonley. Looting town, bomb mod, wolves. Bonley, shave it, looting town. Relegation, I will pick a uh, looting town. Everything will definitely go. They can't have a thought. Uh, escape. I will pick a uh, Luton Town, Everton, and I'll go for Bournemouth. I think uh, Burnley will go, Luton Town will go, Luton Forest. Assist King, I pick Odegaard because I believe say the rest of the Arsenal front line they could score plenty goals this season and in hand go there inside plenty of them. James Ward Prowse. Because he is in a position where he plays the corner kick, he plays free kicks, and uh, he, he more of set pieces his name, and he's very good. These are like his foot. So I think James will perhaps will have a lot of good assists this season. Gasby Martin Odegaard. Gasby Odegaard. James Ward Prowse. 
Bruno Fernandes. Oh, KDB is injured. Bruno Fernandes. My top four, Man City, Arsenal, Liverpool, and Manchester United will finish fourth. So in order, yes. Um, I'll take Man City, I'll take Arsenal, I'll take Chelsea. Because the reason is Chelsea because we're not playing anything and I don't think there's any target for Pochettino this season. And I would go for Liverpool. I don't think Mario will make top four. City wins the league. Arsenal run up. Liverpool. Then Manchester United. Arsenal, City, Liverpool, Tottenham. Manchester City, Chelsea, Liverpool, Arsenal. No be biased, Shah, but I see Liverpool first. I see Manchester City second. I see, uh, okay, that's not fifth, but um, third. Third. I see 30 and fourth, by the way. Then third, Manchester United. Champions League winner. <laughs> Another guy said, this is not one of the Champions League where I feel say be the one where they open to anybody to win. And so, Arsenal go win this year Champions League. Bayern Munich. Champions League winner, Arsenal. <laughs> Madrid, no. Bayern. Madrid is not in shape of recent. Man City. Champions League. You know, this is very tricky because we have good, good competitors this season. I think it has gone. It has uh, gone back. It came back to English. I don't think England will have that advantage. Man City is a bit tired, not playing up to full speed. So I'd go for. I'll go for a Spanish side. I'll go for a Spanish side. Maybe Madrid or Barca. I don't know. One of them. Go for one. I'll go for the king. The kings have done it and they just have a way of doing it over and over again. Madrid. January 2022, on Aduam, the community come together say, on a must go have contributed one where they happen for Cameroon. And we went down there. <laughs> From the beginning, at this community, I don't push this platform to where it is. And uh, now time don't reach again. The Super goes on qualify for the 2023 AFCON happening in January 2024 for Ivory Coast. So time don't reach. We the call for our support. We're going to help us, push us further, make as many of us go Ivory Coast, go watch the Super Eagles, cheer them on. And the fundraiser is officially begun. So we don't officially launch the fundraiser for our AFCON 2023 trip. Of course, the AFCON is start January 2024, like I've been talking before. And in the description, a PayPal link where if you make international payments to add the Nigerian bank account as well for the comment section and for the description of this video, where if you support us with anything, nothing is too small, nothing is too big. We will make this journey together, make some incredible content, record some great memories, and of course, share the Super Eagles as we go win the AFCON. Ten years from the last time we will win now. You know, I see the video. Thanks for watching. Right here, another one of our videos where you supposed to like and all our social media links. I mean, follow us on every platform because we get content for everybody.